you had $12,000 to put towards some silver and or some gold, you could do whatever you want. You can go for 50-50. You can go 100% on gold, 100% on silver, 75-25. Who would you go for? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're feeling well doing great and staying safe. Today, I wanna to talk about what I would do if I had $12,000 in cash that I could only use to put towards silver and or maybe a little bit of gold. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, Really appreciate that. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about silver for the most part, but I want to talk a little bit about gold as well. I want to talk about the precious metals. Now, as I'm recording today's video, similar to what we saw yesterday, the spot price of silver is still above the $25 mark and the spot price of gold is still above the $1,900 mark. So I'm going to be rounding them both up for today's video. I'm going to be rounding silver up to 30 because you got to factor in a premium regardless. And I'm going to be rounding gold up to, let's just say, $2,000 just to keep it simple, simple math, easy numbers to work with. So if I had 12 thousand dollars to put towards precious metals ideally i would probably go for way more silver than gold but i would absolutely pick up a little bit of gold as well and that's what i want to get into today and friendly little reminder in case any vip club members didn't see what i posted last night in the vip club the november giveaway is going on right now i'm going to be drawing a winner and messaging them this weekend so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. The link will be in the description if anybody wants to join the VIP club. It's not just giveaways. It's also privately held live streams, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And obviously you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Link in the description if you want to join. But today I wanted to focus mostly on silver because if I had $12,000, I could very easily get about 400 ounces of silver, give or take. The number might be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on what type of silver you want to get, but rounding up the $25 and change spot price of silver, I just rounded it up to 30 bucks because you got to factor in premiums regardless. So if you were to go all in on silver, you would probably be able to get around 400 ounces of silver. It's quite a bit of silver. Now, when it comes to gold, you could probably get like five, maybe six ounces of gold or somewhere in between. Like I said before, I'm taking the 1900 and change spot price of gold and rounding it up to $2,000. It's likely going to be above $2,000 for one troy ounce of gold. But again, for the sake of simple math, I just wanted to go with that. So what I would do if I had $12,000 that I could put towards precious metals, I would be very strategic. And by the way, for the record, just to be clear, I don't have $12,000 laying around. I just want to focus on the number 12,000 today. But if I did hypothetically have $12,000 cash laying around that I could only put towards precious metals, I would want to be as strategic as possible and I would try to get the most bang for my buck. Now, I would likely take about 4,000 of the 12,000 and I would first put it toward just a little bit of gold. And by a little bit of gold, I mean about two ounces of gold. Now, I would probably go for a one troy ounce gold buffalo. That is hands down my favorite gold coin, and I don't even have one. Something tells me if you don't even have a specific gold coin and it still manages to be your favorite, that's probably a sign that you should get that gold coin. I do not have one. Here are three of my gold coins. I have some more sitting here next to me, but I would go for two ounces of gold probably. One of those two ounces would be the gold buffalo. The other ounce would be three parts. It would be a half ounce gold coin and two quarter ounce gold coins. The half ounce gold coin would probably be a gold eagle 
I do not have a half ounce gold eagle. I don't even have a half ounce gold coin at all. So I'd probably go with a half ounce gold eagle. Now as for the quarter ounces, I would go for a quarter ounce gold eagle as well. This is just a tenth ouncer. I do not have a quarter ounce gold eagle either. But I would absolutely want one. And then as for the other quarter ounce gold coin, I would go for a quarter ounce gold maple. Here is a tenth ounce gold maple. I do not have a quarter ounce gold maple leaf. I'd be going after gold coins that I do not currently have. I do not have all that much gold in the grand scheme of things. I feel as though I'm incredibly weak on gold, so I for sure want to get plenty more. And to be honest, I'm quite satisfied with how a quarter ounce gold coin feels to hold. So I would want to get a couple more quarter ounce gold coins. I would like to get my first half ounce gold coin. And I would like to get my first one ounce gold coin. My first and likely last one ounce gold coin. The reason I say that, anybody who's familiar with this channel knows that I prefer fractional gold. That's why I have so many 10th ounce gold coins. And I just like fractional gold. It's all personal preference. I find it easier to work with. I think you can liquidate if need be much more simply. I think that it's more comfortable packing a smaller amount of dollars into smaller amounts of gold. I don't have an issue putting $2,000 into gold, but I would much rather split that in half and put $1,000 in a half ounce gold coin and another $1,000 into a different half ounce gold coin or $500 roughly into quarter ounce gold coins. Or I would just much rather do it that way. I'm personally not comfortable putting that many dollars into just one particular piece of metal. So I like to break it up. I know the premium's a little bit higher. I consider it to be a security expense. Just my opinion, just from my perspective. It's my own personal preference. You don't have to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. It does not matter. So moving away from the gold, that's really all the gold that I would wanna get. I would wanna get about two ounces of gold in grand total, a one ounce, a half ounce, and two quarter ounce. That's what I would go for with the gold. Now, after putting about $4,000 of my 12,000 into gold, I would want to put the rest, aka about $8,000, into silver, the beautiful white metal, my precious metal of choice. I would take the $8,000, which by the way would be probably enough to get me right around 260 to 270 troy ounces of silver at this time. So to be more specific, I would probably go after truthfully, probably quite a bit of sunshine bars or 10 ounce bars in general. I already have a couple sunshine bars. You can see one of them or actually two of them on screen right here, a five and a 10. The sunshine bar is my favorite silver bar and I would like to get more. Although, as I've said in recent videos, I've really had my eye on a silver RCM bar, Royal Canadian Mint. I love the way those look. I like the fact that they're serialized. I really appreciate and respect that. But there are a variety of other 10 ounce silver bars that I would like to get as well. I would like to get a Scottsdale bar. I would like to get a Silvertown bar. I would like to get the 10 ounce Britannia. There's a lot of silver bars that I would really like to get. And for some strange reason, a 10 ounce silver bar, incredibly satisfying to hold on to. It feels really good in the hand. It's my favorite denomination of silver, but I probably wouldn't go exclusively with 10 ounce silver bars. That's just probably what I would put most of the cash towards. I would probably put a decent amount towards 90% junk constitutional silver. We have a couple of mercury dimes and I think some Roosevelt dimes right here. Yep. Have some silver dimes. I would like to go for some more silver dimes, quarters, half dollars. doesn't really matter to me as long as they're 90% silver. I would likely go with quite a bit of 90% constitutional silver. I really like and appreciate and respect what is often referred to as junk silver. So I'd probably go for quite a bit of that. See, when it comes to the silver, I'm not too picky. When it comes to the silver, I'm stacking for weight, so I usually go for the lower premium stuff. 
up until early 2020, Silver Eagles never used to have a crazy high premium. That was, for the most part, all I was really stacking. Silver Eagles with the Silver Maple as the second in command of the stack, I would say, and also tons and tons and tons of generic silver rounds. That's pretty much all I was stacking for the first year, all of 2018. And then I started getting a little bit more into larger denominations like 5 and 10 ounce silver bars and some 90% and whatnot. So I would probably go after as much silver as I can possibly get my hands on for the bare minimum lowest premium that I could find. And oftentimes, if you go with 90% silver, it carries a lower premium because it's not pure silver. And if you go with 10 ounce silver bars or really anything of a larger denomination of silver bars carries a lower premium than if you were to get, let's just say, 10 one ounce silver bars. From what I've noticed, typically the larger the denomination, the smaller the premium is going to be per ounce. So that's probably what I would go after. I'm incredibly curious, everyone that's watching this video right now, if you had 12 thousand dollars that you could only put towards silver and gold what would you go after would you go all in on silver and no gold would you go all in on gold no silver would you go about 50 50 would you go primarily in on silver with a little bit of gold similar to what i'm doing or would you go primarily on gold with a little bit of silver. Truth be told, it's kind of a trick question, I guess, because regardless of what your choice would be, it's pretty respectable, no matter what the answer is. So depending on how far into stacking you are, or maybe you are only focusing on gold and you don't care much for silver, or maybe vice versa, hey, you're still stacking one of the precious metals. I would say I can respect that. I believe in my opinion from my perspective. Stands a better chance than the dollar bill, so nothing wrong with that. Although I do understand the importance of diversification, so that's why I like to mix and match it up. And that's why I'm trying to get a little bit more gold as of these last couple of months. 2020 woke me up to the fact that I am incredibly weak on gold. But at the end of the day, I love both of the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And by the way, speaking of... The VIP club, I mentioned earlier in the video that a giveaway is going on right now. Yes, that's absolutely the case, but I wanted to wait towards the end of the video to also say I'm doing a giveaway right here on YouTube as well. That's right. One random person is going to win a DYDSS Maple Leaf t-shirt. It's available in black, white, or red, so the winner can choose which color they prefer. Yes, it's inspired by the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf, but I just decided it made for a pretty good giveaway for the fall. If anybody wants one, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment on this video just responding to today's video topic. Don't even mention the giveaway. The giveaway is for the people who actually watch the videos all the way through and truly support the channel the most. So if you made it this far into the video, congratulations, you are eligible to enter. Head on down to the comments and let me know what you would do with $12,000 if you can only use it to get silver and or gold. But make sure to include at the end of your comment what state or country you are viewing out of, as well as your t-shirt size. Make sure you include those two pieces of information at the end of your response to today's video. And by the way, the reason I'm doing a giveaway is to celebrate this channel hitting 12,000 subscribers. If anybody caught my Instagram live stream a couple of days ago, I stopped by to say congratulations to each and every one of you. I wanted to say congratulations once again. Those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you somehow managed to figure out a way to build a community to now, as of today, 12,000 people, 12,000 subscribers on YouTube.
That's a lot of people. Those are some pretty big numbers. That's more people than the population of some small towns. So congratulations on that. And also, I appreciate it. I'm grateful, thankful, and appreciative and blessed to be able to do what I do. Thanks for showing support. So number one, congratulations on that. And also, thank you for helping this channel reach 12,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. So that's how I came to the idea to talk about the number 12,000 today. 12,000 subscribers, talk about $12,000 to put towards silver and gold. So again, thanks for helping hit 12,000 subscribers. A random winner will be chosen this weekend. I will reply to your comment. We will get in touch so I can get your shipping information. That'll be a private conversation. That doesn't have to be in a public YouTube comment, but we'll get in touch so I can get your prize and so I can mail you your prize. Best of luck. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts regarding today's video topic? If you had $12,000 to put towards some silver and or some gold, you could do whatever you want. You can go for crazy high premium stuff if that's what you want to do you can go 50 50 put 6,000 of it towards silver 6,000 towards gold you can go 100 percent on gold 100 percent on silver 75 25 it really doesn't matter it's all up in the air but if you had twelve thousand dollars to put towards silver and gold who would you go for head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.